Right, evening. Good morning, good afternoon. As usual, whatever it is, uh, wherever you are, hope you're having a good one. Uh, tonight, uh, for me tonight, we're tying an olive caddis. Uh, this pattern is super simple, but really effective. Um, recent trip uh, the day to the Tongariro. Uh, up on the central plateau and had a day where all they wanted was this easy to tie you can once you get into the swing of them you can whip them up in a few minutes not even that uh, we've got some black uh, sparkle dub from Semperfly up the top and then we're using an olive uh, dubbing it's a, it's a hairs dubbing with some UV mix into it I'm, I couldn't tell you what it is or where it's from I got it when I first started tying about six years ago uh, it's been sitting in uh, one of my drawers for a long time, but I've finally found a good use for it. I'm sure there are others, but <laughs> this is the one I'm enjoying. And then we're just using some uh, vinyl rib uh, to give that segmentation on the body. And I'll brush it out a little bit as well when it gets wet. It gets that sort of translucent, grubby sort of look to it. Again, really simple, and we'll crack into it. Hopefully you'll enjoy. Okay, we're using Kamasan B110 again. Uh, this is in a size 10. I uh, found the uh, bigger ones works really well and it's easier to film so I'll uh, we'll crack in with that um, first off and it's optional you don't have to do this is I'm putting a little bit of lead wire on there just to help it sink down a bit uh, in this case just in uh, 0 0.1 or 0 0.01 sorry and uh, I'm going to use 10 wraps or so doesn't have to be exact but 10, 11, 12 whatever floats your boat and it just helps it get down just a little bit and we'll just get rid of that little tag in there and put our thread base down uh, tonight I'm using the Nano Silk uh, Semperfly 30 denier in black um, just helps it um, when you do that dubbing on the head at the very end uh, just so you can't see it there and you have it well covered up uh, with the olive dubbing down the back end of it I like to leave about half an eye uh, between the lead wraps and my wire uh, you're just not tying off right on top of it and I find that right there just makes it a bit of a nightmare when you're tying it off and we just want our thread base put on there. Again, this is this is a super simple pattern. Um, great one for beginners to start off with. Uh, start getting your heads around uh, proportions and building up a taper with your dubbing. Uh, it's an effective one as well, so hopefully a good reminder for a few people who've been going for a while who haven't put any of these in the fly box to. Uh, Crack a few more in. Right, ribbing material. I am using a uh, vinyl rib in a olive colour. Olive colour for an olive caddis. It's just a very thin, almost translucent material. Um, I don't know if the fish really mind. I was catching them with some with their wire ribbing and some with this. I couldn't tell you if one was catching more than the other, but I don't know, enjoy tying it with this, so uh, that's what I'm doing at the moment. That's all it is, you just tie it in, ready to go. And then we'll take our dubbing. Again, this is one I've had sitting around for a long time, and I'm not sure if you can really see me. I think we get the reflection on the, um, the container it's in, but I'll just take some out. And you can sort of see in there this little blue flecks of UV um, just sort of uh, popping through. Um, but we'll start putting that on, and it's about as simple as anything else. You just take a little pinch of it, put just a little bit of wax on there just to help the process at the start. It just makes it stick. So you want a really uh, thin. Uh, body to begin with as it tapers up into a sort of fat grub um, especially on the Tongariro and I'm sure other rivers but 
Yeah, the caddis in there just very big. That's game one going with the number 10. And as far as hook, uh, number 12's worked well as well. Size 12. And you could probably go down smaller as well. 14, 16's. And this pattern is so simple and can be used in so many different places. If you've got caddis, you should be able to use this and mix the colour up. Um, this is sort of a midway in between uh, what I've seen on photos of the caddis and the tongariro. I just want to keep building it up and build that, uh, that taper. Uh, so it starts thin and as it gets near the head and it gets to its fattest point and then when we put that uh, black sparkle dubbing on um, we'll just sort of narrow or tapers off back down uh, it's not quite as slowly if that makes sense and again I've talked of this in most of my uh, my videos so far but just a bit by bit And just try to work with just a, a couple inches of uh, you know, thread as you make your way up the body. You have more control and it's it's easier to add more on and faff about trying to take stuff off. Okay, and you want to get in the ballpark of about two thirds to three quarters of the way up. And that's where we'll stop dubbing. We'll stop dubbing the uh, olive part of the body. All right, next up, we'll just wrap our uh, ribbon the way up the body, and just try to keep that as evenly paced as you can. I think, in my mind, I like this vinyl uh, rib just it gives it a more pronounced segmentation up the body. Um, we're going to have uh, after that fluff it out a bit, uh, rough it up with some. I've got a, a tool for it, but you can just use some Velcro or anything like that. And at least in my mind, once you've done that, it once it's wet, all that stuff you fluffed up just gives that sort of translucent, grubby uh, sort of look to it. And you just get that tight in there. Get rid of the excess. And let's have a little it's like some wire cleaner or something like that on a little handle but you can use velcro as well you just want to rub it out as much as you can and just get a little bit it doesn't have to be all over the show it's just enough to be once it's wet we'll just all line back and it looks really neat maybe more catches the angler's eye than the fish but I like to think it works. You can kind of see in the light it's all fluffed out. Alright, almost there. Alright, next up is the sparkle dubbing. Um, this is another one of the Semperfly products. Some wonderful long fibres in there. And I'll just a little bit out and show you, but great for a whole range of things and long fibers like if you're tying leeches or something like that you make great dubbing loops and stuff however it can be a bit long uh, for the purposes of uh, nymphs so easy as scissors and just cut it all down until you you know just little bits half a centimeter flat and I usually just have a pile of it I've been making quite a bit tonight so yeah, a whole bunch of it there and just mix it up so it's not all uniform and line out straight together I just want a very very little bit and just dub that onto you know, your thread just to make those little noodles you really only want bit by bit here and it's easy to end up with a head that's disproportionate to the rest of it I know I harp on about it but just take your time and you can rush it, fish will still eat it but you just slowly build it up 
and a few interesting conversations over the last couple of days as to how much the uh, colours necessarily need to be perfectly matched to what's in there. I kind of can't help but wonder myself whether it's more the the contrast of dark to light. I mean, I had a couple take uh, some of these that were tied with still the green body but the purple straggle string as well which you know, last I checked I haven't seen a, a caddis with bright purple you know, body or head on it but they liked it yeah, so I don't know theory there maybe and then finally we're just whip fishing it It really is a very simple fly, but a very effective one. You've just got your olive body. A bit hard to see at the moment, but I'll get a better photo to put up at the end. And there's the olive ribbing. And a black head which tapers back down to the eye. Tied off. I mean, you can't get much simpler than that. There we have it. Olive caddis. I hope you'll enjoy tying it. I hope this helps. I know it's pretty simple and maybe telling a fear to suck eggs, etc. But I hope you enjoy it. If you do tie them and share them, by all means tag me in it. Love to see what you're tying. But all the best and yeah, happy tying. Cheers.